Today we're driving with Tyree. Y'all remember Tyree? Hey guys. Hey, we're gonna be talking about um, those natural queens who have boyfriends who embrace or do not embrace their hairstyles. Right. So Tyree, have you ever had a, a guy who didn't appreciate your natural hair? Well, considering I have been natural for six, um, you can't see us now. Um, considering I've been natural for about six years, um, I've dated, but I haven't had like a steady man in between that time. So, but it was never like a problem with the guys that I dated. It was never like, oh my god, you're natural or anything like that. Mm -hmm. No. There's like a hair texture that a lot of um, people don't really consider attractive. Your hair texture is pretty like you know loose, soft. Well, no? thank you. I appreciate that, uh -huh. but it's just that my hair, it doesn't, you know, fro. If I want it to fro, I have to make it fro. Yeah. Um, it's very similar to this. Very, very similar, but not... What is that that you have on your head right this now? This is a half wig, and it is an indie Brazilian wave. Um, mm -hmm. It is Remy hair. And um, I wanted something to match my hair when I want to, you know, put on a wig and just go. So this is the most similar texture to my natural hair texture. Okay. Like, I get guys complimenting my, me for, for, you know, wearing natural hair, wearing my hair natural. And, um, but I do remember a couple times when, like, when I had baby locks and, <laughs> like, back when I had, <laughs> why are you laughing? Oh, God, this thing <laughs> about your baby locks. <laughs> made me like <laughs> <laughs> so when I have baby locks, I remember going to um, parties my sophomore year. I'm done. For sophomore year, um, and like just meeting guys, like obviously like it's not guys I was dating, but just like you know talking to guys at like house parties and stuff. And I would wear my hair like in um, like head wraps to cover my baby locks. And like in conversation, I would just bring up that oh yeah, I'm locking my hair. Like I remember a couple times like someone was like. Oh, like, oh, you're getting locks? Oh, I don't like girls with locks. Like, really said that. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Do you know what I'm talking about? I remember you saying that. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, ew, like, I think that you're mad whack for for having, like, a preference that you, you don't date girls right. with locks. Right. Like, what? I will say this, though. Um, early stages, and even now I still battle the, well, not now. Now I'm in a relationship, but going to the club i was like to myself i always i i went to the club with natural hair probably can count on my fingers you know how many times one hand maybe mm -hmm. um i do like having the straight or the wavy like you know i only wear half wigs i don't do these wearing the half wigs to those places because i know they're more attractive to the eyes of those men in the club not that i was searching for them or anything like that but i do know when i did go in the club with natural hair I don't want to sound ignorant or anything, but from life experience, I did get less attention. When Not that it was all about that, but that's just something I noticed. Like when I would do a faux hawk, or if I would just have it out, you know, in like the um, perm rods and take it out, then I didn't get that much attention off as when I would wear my straight, long Malaysian wigs, like down to here, to the club. Hmm. So yeah. you think guys prefer straight, wavy hair? I'm just saying those guys in that kind of environment. Okay. Um, not that I was picking anyone up in there, but that's just something I noticed. Um, I do think that some guys love natural hair, and my boyfriend now, mm -hmm. he hates these things. He wants me to burn them all and trash them out. He likes. But I'm lazy because my hair doesn't fro naturally, so I have to get that curl pattern, and it takes a lot of time. Right. too much on this because you know my bae he got locks too so obviously he likes locks and you know natural hair in general he met you pre-locks yes but when i met him i in our first conversation i told him that i would have i had braids because i was growing my locks i was That's growing my hair natural for locks so he already knew that i was the person he locks. that very aware to everyone everyone knew that yeah because it's it was really weird for me to have box braids, period. Like, what am I doing? I mean, at the time, it wasn't like the cool thing. Solange didn't start wearing braids yet, so it wasn't cool yet. So like, what are you doing with braids? Like, why? I was transitioning, that's why I had braids, guys. I think that a lot of guys do say things like, oh, I prefer a natural woman, you know, I want my woman to be real, you know, real boobs, real butt. But they really but, don't. But, they really but don't. yeah, they're, I feel like their actions don't really no. reflect that. No, I agree. 
I agree tremendously. But I do agree that they do want a chick that can be versatile. I was, um, especially, you know, minority men, I would say more so, you know, men in the black community. I've seen a lot of stuff where men do like that their women can switch up their hair or their hair color or they don't know what kind of, you know, it kind of changes the woman's personality, not personality, but I don't know, their image. Yeah. Men like that. Yeah. Men like Because men are very visual. Yes. And they enjoy that, you know, us you know, minority women, we change our hair color, we change our style, the they yeah. appreciate that. Yeah, but I mean, the way I see it, natural hairstyles, like kinky hair, is the most versatile kind of yes, hair there is. Yes, is. Straight hair, like, it, it can hardly hold a curl, right. you know what I mean? Like, right. we can do everything, we can braise, twist, flat twist, um, right. finger waves, all that, I don't know why I said finger waves, I don't know why that no, came to mind. people wearing that, I saw a bitch on Instagram. <laughs> but, I guess, you know, a lot of times guys talk about, oh, natural woman, you know, beautiful black queen, but I feel like it's only beautiful black queen once you get your hair to a certain, yeah. certain level, you know what I mean? <laughs> I actually have a story that's kind of, I guess you could say oxymoron to this, to what we're talking about right now, but it's kind of funny because I am natural. Um, when I was in London, in McDonald's, this man that came up to me, he claimed he was a Rastafarian. And he was like, I want you to be my empress. You are gorgeous. You need to be my empress. Mind you, I had on, you know, my long Malaysian wig. So I'm like to him, I'm like, honey, you don't want me to be your empress. My nails are fake. My hair is fake. I have tons of makeup on. You do not want me to be your empress. And he's like, no, no, but you are so beautiful. And then there's things like that. He claims he's a Rastafarian. What Rastafarian wants a plastic ass nail girl with, you know, excuse me. <laughs> it's okay. With, Fake hair, you know, fake hair, tons of makeup on. What uh -huh. are you talking about? So, kind of what you're saying, like what you said, they want the queen, they want this. Yeah. This man claims he was a Rasta. Yeah, that's true. So, I don't know. That's a different, that's a funny, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can tell a lot about a woman by the way she chooses to wear her hair. And I mean, like, a lot of times guys. I just want like a down chick, you know what I mean? A lot of times when you wear like a whole bunch of fake hair, you just seem real high maintenance and you see, you, I mean, not to be judgmental, but like that's how, very often that's how you come across when you're like really done up all the time. You come across as real high maintenance, probably real snobby, probably, you know, judgmental. Um, so like guys don't really want that in a chick, like guys want like a, you know, a, you know, like a cool, like, Guy, a, they want a girl who could be like a brother, but a female. You know, yeah. that's kind of it's kind of weird the way I'm saying it, but I think I, you understand I what I mean. Coming from. Yeah. So like natural hair, it when you wear your hair naturally, like a guys, I think guys look at it like she's real confident, she's comfortable in her, her own skin. You know, I'm not dealing with an insecure chick. You know, nobody likes anybody who's really insecure. But then I think some guys, especially men, I keep saying in the minority community, are used to girls wearing fake hair. That's so true. they know that comes with the package. So it's not That's like true. they're thinking, oh, she's not down because she's wearing fake hair. They just know, mm -hmm. they have sisters, they have moms, you know, mm -hmm. so they know that comes with the package a lot of the time. I'm not gonna say majority, but yeah. a lot of the times that comes with the package. That's true. So I don't think they think, oh, this girl has natural hair, she's down. It's a plus, because they want to have that natural hair, like, oh, she's not bald. Yeah. That's where I think that kind of thought comes in process. But even like today in 2015, when like natural hair is in, mm -hmm. if you do, like that's the thing to do. And like self love is, is kind of like, in style, like be, you know, embracing yourself is, right. is like, you know, what's popping right now. I think, I think guys look at women who wear their hair fake right now differently than they how they would, would look at her wearing fake hair back in, you know, maybe ten years ago. Okay. Because you know, it's since natural hair is more acceptable now, it's, it's more in style now. So I feel like it doesn't take as much confidence to pull off natural hair than it would back when it right. wasn't in. So for you to be still wearing fake hair now, I feel like that kind of shows a little bit more insecurity than like, than but like. But then what about, I would speak for myself, I feel like sometimes people feel like I'm a natural hair sellout. 
Like, I am very pro natural hair. I natural hair sell out? I am very pro natural hair. I haven't had a freaking perm in my hair since 2009. 